Hey guys, so I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about laser school and what I wish I knew before becoming a laser technician. Little disclaimer, it will vary per state, like the laws and tuition and things like that, but this is from my personal knowledge being here in Texas. Also, in the state of Texas, you don't need to be an esthetician, you don't need to be a nurse. Anyone can do the laser technician course. I think you just need a high school diploma. There is actually four levels of laser licensing in Texas. There's laser apprentice, laser technician, senior laser hair removal technician, and finally, number four is professional laser hair removal technician. I myself do hold a laser professional license since I do own a med spa. So for your level one apprentice license, it's really just book work. Then once you become an apprentice, you perform a hundred treatment sessions of laser hair removal. And then you become a laser technician. And to become a senior laser technician, you have to observe a hundred sessions. And finally, to become a laser professional, you do have to pass a written exam. If you're not owning a med spa, you don't need to be a level four. To perform laser, you just need to be a technician. So keep that in mind. I went to two different schools, so I'm going to talk about both of them, the tuition, all that kind of stuff. For my first two levels, which brought me to a laser technician, I went to NLI. And then for my last two courses to become a laser professional, I went to Texas Laser Institute. So starting with National Laser Institute, since I went there first, I did take their two week laser technician course, which included book work and the hands-on training. So the first five days were online. This was all book work, learning the science of laser, learning the physics of laser, how to determine someone's Fitzpatrick type, all the stuff you need to know in the textbook. Once that portion is completed, you do go up to the school for nine consecutive days, no days off, eight hours a day. While you're here, you do get the hands-on training in the hundred sessions. They also included microneedling training as well as body sculpting and I believe IPL. So when signing up for the school, what I noticed is that they do quote you $11,000 for tuition, but they offer everybody a $2,000 discount. So it really comes out to about $9,000, but pretty much everybody gets that discount. I think they just say that to make it sound better, <laughs> which that is very expensive for laser school. But at the time I didn't know any better. I will say the teachers were great. The training was great. Everything was great. The equipment, everything was 10 out of 10, but I don't think it was worth that price. So for my next two licenses, which got me to laser professional, like I said, I had to observe a hundred sessions as well as pass a written exam. And I did this at Texas Laser Institute. Now the tuition here is a lot cheaper. I did pull the numbers for if you just became a laser technician. So to get your laser technician license at Texas Laser Institute, the total it will cost you is $1,700. And the course is a lot quicker. So they actually break it up into level one and level two, while National Laser Institute just has the course all in one. So the first level one apprentice license, they will send you the book work before, and then they will have you come in person two days for the classroom experience. And this portion costs $950. Then you will spend a whole day with them doing 100 sessions of laser. And this portion costs $750. So if you add those both together, you get $1,700 total. I honestly feel like this school is great too. It was a lot quicker and a lot cheaper. So I think this is typically the better option for almost everybody. They don't teach microneedling or anything like that but I don't think that justifies the $7,000 difference. So once you get your license, you have two options, having your own business or going to work at a med spa. Most commonly, you're going to work at a med spa. It's very hard to open a med spa on your own and have your own business, but I will touch on both. If you plan on trying to work for a med spa, I recommend applying everywhere. Don't get discouraged if you don't get a call back, definitely call them and follow up. Med spas, if they're good, they typically have a low turnover rate on employees, so it can be really hard to get a job there, which this is a good thing because that shows that they typically treat their employees better than other places in the beauty industry, such as European Wax Center, where they have a high turnover rate. Tips for getting hired at a med spa, I would definitely say just look very interested, be willing to learn, be open to learning, definitely call them and follow up, don't be shy, possibly even go up there. And of course, having a super cute resume I think definitely helps stand out. And don't get discouraged if you don't have experience because the truth is, and they will tell you this in laser school, every laser is so different. So you might learn the candela while you're in school, but if you go work somewhere, they're gonna have a different laser and they'll teach you exactly how to use it. So it doesn't really matter because every laser is super, super different. At the core, the physics is the same, but the buttons, the settings, everything else is very different. Now I'm gonna talk about if you want to own your own laser practice which I very much have experience doing as I do own a med spa here in Texas. So again, I am speaking in reference to Texas. 
in Texas, it doesn't matter if you're a laser technician with a esthetician license or an RN license, you cannot perform laser by yourself. Even if you are the business owner, even if you are level four, you do have to have a medical director. What a medical director does is basically delegate their power to allow you to perform laser services. Every time you do laser, any type of laser, whether it's hair removal, IPL, tattoo removal, anything like that, you will chart everything. And your medical director's responsibility is to make sure those charts are good, basically supervising you. In Texas, they don't need to be in the clinic, but you do need to have proper communication with them and have monthly meetings. Basically, they keep you in check, make sure that you're not doing anything crazy or anything that you're not supposed to be. And of course, you will need insurance to go along with your medical director. Now we'll talk about purchasing a machine. Like you can see here, I do have the Ruhr Aesthetics Spectrum Laser. It has all these different modalities that you can see behind me, which is why I love it. So I would say the most popular is definitely Candela, but the reason I chose to go with the Ruhr Aesthetics versus a Candela, which is one of the more popular names, is because typically a Candela is gonna run you anywhere from 50 to 100K plus depending on if you get it new or used or what model you get and that's for just hair removal that's not tattoo removal that's not ipl that's not anything else so i chose to go with the roar aesthetics spectrum laser that has all these different modalities for seventy thousand dollars which obviously that is not cheap by any means but if you think about it, you're paying $70,000, which is less than a candela, and you're getting all these different modalities. And I know some people worry about when you're doing a multifunctional laser, if the quality is going to stay consistent with all the different modalities. And I'm here to say, I can't speak for every single company, but this company right here, Aurora Aesthetics, has been nothing but amazing. Our rep, Ben, has been literally so amazing. He literally personally came in, hung all these up for me. Anytime I have an issue, which I really never do, it's usually just user error. I call him and he immediately answers and helps me with any issue. For example, we did drop and break one of the little attachments. Immediately he got it shipped out that same day. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just love to talk about them because they genuinely have been so amazing. And I think it can be really hard in the aesthetics industry, laser or not, to find really good reps and really good companies to work with that don't just care about your money, but actually care about how your business is doing and care about the integrity of their product. Whether you choose to go with Roar Aesthetics or another laser company, typically they will help you with financing. So that way you can make monthly payments and not have to pay $70,000 up front. Genuinely, I love aesthetics. I love being a laser tech. I love that I was able to expand my knowledge and get into lasers. But if you guys have any other questions for me, just leave them down below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.